sometimes as an everyday believer, you think, oh, do I have to, do I have to kind of pray in a certain way? Is there a, a formula of what I have to say? I mean, what are you thinking when you actually go and, and pray for somebody? Like, are you, are you conscious that you're trying to be, you're trying to normalize this? You're trying to kind of express your faith in, in a non, um, freaky way, for a lack of a better term? Yeah, look, to be honest with you, Dina, I think for me, I, I've come to the conclusion, the Bible says, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. And for me, that, that is a game changer. Put yourself in their shoes. You know, where they are right now, what are they doing? What are they going through? And when you connect and relate to somebody in their just everyday life, it, it opens up so many different opportunities. Um, I recently went and had a blood test done at a uh, doctor's clinic around the corner. And I was talking to the lady there and I said, oh, have you got plans? It was over Easter weekend. I was like, you going away for the weekend? And she was like, oh, no, look, my father-in-law, he's in hospital and he's been sick for nine months and all these different things. And she's telling me this story. And then I just said to her, I said, hey, I said, again, this might sound crazy. I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus. And I believe he could heal your father-in-law so that you can actually get away for the weekend. And I said, do you mind if I pray with you? And she was like, oh, no, you know, oh, oh, oh. I said, no, no. She, and she said, oh, no, he's, he's in this hospital and we can't, we can't go there <clears throat> because of COVID. And I said, oh, I said, do you mind if we just pray here? And she was like, oh, oh. I was like, so simple. So I just said, I just said to her, I said, you know, God loves you. God loves your father-in-law. And I believe he wants to do something in this space. And she was like, okay. So I just said, God, and I, eyes open, whole deal. God, I thank you for a father-in-law. I pray you would touch his body, bring healing to it so that they could get away for the long weekend. And literally, I walked away from that moment with an amen in it and walked out, came back later for another blood test. And she was like, you'll never believe it. There was a turnaround with my father-in-law and we don't have to worry about looking after him for the weekend and we're going away. So you know, just taking the everyday moments to, of people's lives and being real with them and where they're at. And, and I'm not going out there with an agenda. I'm just taking what comes up in front of me. 